This video demonstrates how to install Citrix AppDNA 6.3 in an evaluation environment. This is Jay Paloma. This is part one of a two-part series on installing Citrix AppDNA 6.3. We will now take a look at how to install the core functionality of AppDNA 6.3. After this process, we can already import MSI applications into AppDNA. Note that throughout this video series, we will use the evaluation license of AppDNA. This means that we have at our disposal five licenses to produce detailed application reports to five applications and unlimited application imports. AppDNA 6.3 can be installed on the following client and server operating systems. In an evaluation capacity, we can install AppDNA on any of them. I used Windows 7 for this video. However, in a real-world scenario, Depending on the expected number of applications that will be evaluated, choose the server operating systems, preferably the 64-bit ones, to maximize the computer's resources. AppDNA requires SQL Server as its backend data store. The following versions of SQL Server can be used in AppDNA. We can use the Express editions as well, but note that SQL Server Express has its size and performance limitations. So while it may be okay to use it in a POC environment, it is not practical to use it in a production implementation of AppDNA. In this video, I use SQL Server 2008 R2 Express Edition. Installing SQL Server for AppDNA is straightforward, and you only need to remember two things. The first thing we need to remember in installing SQL Server for AppDNA is that we only need the database engine services. Depending on which version and edition of SQL Server you install, you will be presented with more components than what AppDNA needs. Feel free to unselect these components. The second thing we need to remember in installing SQL Server for AppDNA is the collation. AppDNA requires either collation option shown in the lower right corner of the screen. After this, just select the defaults of SQL Server installation. In the Citrix website, we can download two MSI installers of AppDNA. There's the citrix-appdna.msi and the citrix-appdna-quickdb-installation.msi. Both are fully functional AppDNA installations, except that the QuickDB one has the AppDNA database already backed up and stored in the MSI for automatic restoration during install. This explains why the QuickDB MSI file is bigger than the other one. The AppDNA splash screen appears. We click Next. We accept the EULA and click Next. We select Complete Server Plus Client and click Next. Since this is our first and only installation in a POC environment, we can leave the file locations in their defaults and click Next. And we will now select Install. AppDNA installation commences. The 
The installation wizard completes. Note the checkbox where the configuration wizard will be launched. Click Finish. After clicking Finish, the configuration wizard launches automatically. We select the default Configure New Installation and click Next. We select the default Single Machine Web Server and click Next. We are now asked for the SQL Server name and database name. Note that since we use SQL Server Express in this demonstration, we need to add the instance name SQL Express and we click Next. We will install a trial version of AppDNA, so we select Run in Trial Mode and click Next. AppDNA will now proceed with prerequisite checks. Once done, click Configure. The AppDNA site and database will now be configured. The configuration is now complete. We will now click Close. We will now run AppDNA for the first time. Run AppDNA from the Start menu. We will now enter the credentials of the administrator of AppDNA. The default password is shown in the video. Remember to change this password after first logon. During its first run, AppDNA will execute the Configure Modules Wizard. The parameters we set here can be changed later on, and we can even run this same wizard later on as well. As this is a POC environment of AppDNA, I will try to put everything in. Click Next. Select the client operating systems that you are migrating from and to, and click Next. Select the App V and Zen App streamed versions you will be evaluating apps in and click Next. Select your IE versions and make sure Firefox is selected. Click Next. Select the newer version of Zen App and click Configure. AppDNA will now configure the modules and its algorithms to match your selections. After finishing, click Close. AppDNA is now ready to use. At this point in the installation process, AppDNA will already be able to import MSI applications only and analyze them. In the left pane, click Import Applications. Make sure that the Direct Import tab is selected and click Browse. You can now type in the URL of the shared folder where your MSI installers are stored. It is a good practice to store installation packages in a shared folder. We can also search for MSI packages instead of just importing one at a time. Click on the search button, then type in the URL of the folder to search for MSI packages. After searching, 
AppDNA found two MSI packages in the search path. We can now import them in bulk. We click import and now the apps will be imported into AppDNA. Importing the MSI packages is finished. We will now click Analyze. At this point, we need to be aware that our AppDNA evaluation installation is limited to five application detail reports. So as not to inadvertently use those five immediately, we will need to select I will unlock the application later. This gives us the ability to perform unlimited imports but only display the reports of the applications that we need. Click Next at the upper right corner of the AppDNA window. AppDNA will now commence the application analysis. Depending on the module selected, the machine specifications, and the complexity of the apps being imported, the time to perform this varies. This clip has been speeded up, but note the elapsed time as well as the computer time in the lower right corner of this video. Application analysis is completed. Click Finish on the upper right corner of the AppDNA window. As of now, we have two applications imported and analyzed, and zero licenses committed to any application. This results in our overview summary displaying those padlocks where the RAG results should be. The next task is to go to Manage Licenses. For this example, I will just apply licenses to ActiveSync. After applying licenses, we can now see the RAG results of the application. To know more about AppDNA and to download your evaluation copy of Citrix AppDNA 6.3, go to the Citrix website. You can also check out the Citrix AppDNA blogs where different folks from the AppDNA team worldwide post their AppDNA stuff in it. I also contribute to that blog. This is just part one of a series of two videos. In the next video, we will see how to set up install capture, which is needed to import non-MSI applications as well as for the more advanced automated packaging and sequencing features of Citrix AppDNA. Thank you very much for viewing this video.